Hello everyone and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory where I am so excited to celebrate The Sims 4 Island Living, the new expansion pack that is coming out in just a couple days. I am so delighted with the addition of a brand new creature that I would like to introduce all of you to here in our lab, a Mercat! That's right! This is a mermaid cat! And you know, the beautiful, beautiful face with her, her piercing eyes, the pearly sheen upon her fur, the very interesting pointed ears that she has, and her beautiful coloring it may not tell you at first glance that Pearl, our beautiful mer-cat, is indeed a mermaid cat, but just wait my friends, just wait, because when she stands up and you have a look around the back, you can see her beautiful mermaid tail, which I am so excited about. I wasn't sure when it would be time to add this oh so very very special gene into our experiments here, but of course with the formal addition of new mermaids coming in Sims 4, so there will actually be Sims who are going to be mermaids. Well, my friends, the time was clearly nigh and it was time to add mercats into our lab. So I hope you guys are looking forward to spending a couple days of experiments here with Pearl, who has uh, graciously decided to share her story with us as she is an early arrival from the beautiful beaches of Sunlani, which I'm really looking forward to experiencing exploring with all of our beautiful Sims stories. And actually, now that I'm looking at her, guys, wouldn't it be so much fun to make our very own special variety, our own special species of mercat that we could say is a very unique addition to the ecosystems of Sulani? Maybe, maybe once we finish cleaning up the beaches and achieving the top of the conservation career there, we will be able to actually have Pearl and her kittens start roaming the waters and possibly being new additions to the families who travel there. That's so exciting. I cannot wait to see what her kittens are gonna look like because she has some fancy custom content in her jeans for sure. So guys, just really quickly in case you are wondering about what is unusual about Pearl, she is a beautiful cat who has very, very smooth fur, almost like a seal's. She has a flat face that um, kind of allows her to move through the water a little bit better. I would think maybe having like a pointed face would help, kind of the way fish have like little pointy faces. But apparently she prefers being flat nosed, which may be easier to be able to keep the water and the seawater out of her nose. She has these beautiful custom content purple eyes, the very pointy little ears from Kalino actually. Look at how cute they are. Look at how cute they are. Like a cute little fin just rising up from her ears. I wish I had some like really elegant fins that we could have go down her back. But unfortunately, I do not. Just bat wings. And a bat wing mercat is a little bit outside of our current experiments. But definitely check back with me when we get the bat wing cats going around Halloween for sure. And she has this wonderful custom content mermaid tail. I have no idea where I even found this tail. I just slipped it into my genetic arsenal and have been saving it to use in our experiments for quite some time. So this is really exciting to have a proper mer cat. And with the beautiful shining like azure waters, like blue waters of Sulani. I really wanted to see a blue mercat pop up this time, but keep your eyes peeled because rumors have it that there are several koi fish mercats that Pearl is friends with as well. And Pearl, after all, is here to make friends. So without further ado, let's see who we can help find her, um, who we can find to help her find a mate. There we go. Because I'm really excited to see what her kittens are gonna look like with whatever cat happens to wander by on the beaches. So let's go ahead. I'm actually gonna like randomize. Okay, three. So we're gonna find the third cat and we're gonna see, oh, this is a really freaking cute kitten though. <gasps> You're so cute. Oh my gosh, I am so in love with you. You are just so preciously adorable. 
But we are going to have Pearl go ahead and climb up out of the waters of the beaches and meet with one of the land-loving cats who do not swim in the ocean like she does, but who have stories of their adventures further inland to the thick forest of Sulani Islands. So let's see what kind of, in fact, actually, if it's gonna be a forest cat, let's go for a bangle. I actually think that would be really good. Let's go for a beautiful bangle. Cause I think that would, oh my gosh, with those expressions and that face, I think that would actually be a lot of fun to have a bangle kitten end up being who Pearl meets. So, hmm, should we do that or should we ran, oh, but look at this little one. It's like a meeting of water and the forest and it would just be so much fun. Uh, you know what? Oh man, normally, okay, we're gonna randomize just a couple times and see who the third cat would be. Two, three. Oh, <gasps> but a ballet Balinese. Okay, this is actually the cat we'll go for this time. And the next time we'll see if a Bengal can be convinced to come out of the forest and meet with Pearl. But this is perfect because these Balinese are quite gorgeous. They are a very historic breed of cat and they're extremely talkative. So I can only imagine that this handsome fellow was sitting over by the water, singing his heart out and his song actually attracted Pearl's attention. And I will admit if I like was just minding my own business, singing at the beach and I looked up and Pearl's face was staring at me, I could potentially be a little taken aback for a second. I mean, you can't really tell if she's happy or not. She's just sort of grumpily staring at you. Also, Pearl, let's actually change your nose while we're at it, my dear. I think I can actually, let's get in there. She needs a very cute little nose, doesn't she? Detail mode. Let's give her a cute little, ooh, a green nose. Let's give her, oh, she's so cute. Whoa, oh my gosh. I didn't mean to give you that much of a, there you go. There you go, Pearl, there, oh, that's perfect. <gasps> that is perfect, actually. Oh my gosh, I love her look. Look at how cute she is. There you go, Pearl, our little mercat. All right, she's ready. She is formally ready to meet with this very handsome Balinese. Uh, what am I going to name him? Salem? Salem's a pretty good name. I should have some of... <gasps> Tappy! Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, but catastrophe. Oh my gosh. All right, I think we're gonna go ahead with Teppy. There we go. So Teppy, he is just minding his own business, singing along the seashore when he meets with Pearl. And I think he is extremely affectionate and friendly. Like he, you just cannot get a more friendly, happy cat than at Teppy here. So all right, he's singing along the beach. Pearl rises up out of the water, maybe gives him a little bit of a start. I mean, like I said, a little hard to tell if she's grumpy or happy with that expression, but we can see the gleam in her eyes. And with his song, he wins her heart over. And with her beautiful colors and her, you know, unique nature and definitely her unique eyes that express so much, the pearl wins Teppy over. And now let us see what their kittens would look like. Oh, I love this story. It's such a lovely love story. All right, so we're gonna actually come over. <gasps> You're so cute, little kitten. Oh my gosh. And we are going to create the, let's see, there's two. So we should be able to create six kittens this time, if I remember correctly. Let's see what happens. <gasps> Here is kitten number one. And oh my gosh, does it ever look like dad? Oh, this is so cute. So the first kitten they have together is a sun with eyes of wood, like the forest that Teppy can actually wander in. The next kitten, is a gorgeous sign who has Pearl's shining eyes that seem to speak of so many secrets of the sea. Oh my gosh, I am so glad we got a, a Balinese for the cat that Pearl met first because this is just such a beautiful mix. And then next up, we have another sign who actually seems to be quite a mix of his parents with a blue and a purple eye. Perhaps he will be one to frolic in the waves and uh, be a little bit but like both his mother and his father. And then we've also got, all right, that's three kittens down. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful child. Oh, their first little girl with clear eyes, just like the sea. She looks just like her dad, actually. In fact, most of them look just like their dad. This is interesting. 
All right, Pearl. We'll go ahead. Another kitten. <gasps> Blue all around. Oh, I love it. Another daughter. A completely opposite look from her sister. This is so cool. I was surprised we haven't had some other colors start popping up amongst the kittens either. All right, let's go ahead and... Ooh, another daughter who actually has her mother's eyes. But will they inherit the mermaid tails and those scaly ears, those little thin ears? All right. Is that already six? Oh, Pearl, you had all of your kittens so fast. I can't believe it. So we do have, I believe, three... Three little boys and three little girls. And they're actually three that look just like Pearl and three that look just like Teppy. Oh my gosh, our first mer kittens are born. Ah, I'm really tempted to maybe like mix Pearl's genes across a wider assortment of kittens in the future. But you guys know how this always works. Whenever it's actually time to grow them up, we are constantly stunned and shocked at the way they turned out. So let's start with son number one who I think with his beautiful coloring, gosh, I'm gonna name him Rain. Cause I just, I really think Rain, there we go. He just reminds me of kind of like a playful rain cloud actually, especially one that might be seen drifting over the forest. And a really cool new thing that is actually part of the update for The Sims 4 is that we can now immediately randomize Rain's traits without having to pick them ourselves. So let's go ahead and see what these little kittens' personalities have waiting for us. Rain? <gasps> he is a playful, friendly, aloof cat. So very much like both his parents. Playful and friendly, uh, playful and, well, more of a spree free spirit. Okay, so he's a little bit aloof. But that's okay. Maybe that's like a notch down from being as spoiled as his mother. And then his brother... What am I going to name you, little one? I kind of want to name... His, his father is Teppy. I'm going to go with uh, Keppy. So we've got Teppy and Keppy. And what is his personality going to be like? <gasps> Talkative like his father, but also a little territorial and a bit of a prowler. So he might be defending the edges of their territory. And the final little boy, is there a good name? Mr. No, I'm not naming him Mr. Wiggles. I think I'm gonna name him uh, Sanso. Sanso. Uh, Sansol. There we go, Sansol. I just really like it. He, he strikes me as a more peaceful kitten who really just wants to watch his siblings, but let's see what his personality turns out to be. I was right! He is affectionate and he is talkative and he's a little bit of a prowler, so I think he likes to keep up with his brothers for sure. But he is just as affectionate and talkative as his father. And I wonder if having one blue eye and having one purple eye really indicates that he walks the waters between the two worlds of his murcat mother and Teppy, his singing beautiful father. And now for the little girls. Oh, look at those eyes! We're gonna go ahead and name her uh, Cyan C, Cyan C, because she's just got the beautiful, like, vibrant blue eyes. And what is her personality going to be like? Oh, so she's actually a free spirit who's friendly and a bit of a prowler. So she likes to run around with her brothers as well, but she is going to come up and give you a little nuzzle if she happens to wander by. So another friendly kitten. They just are having such a beautiful, friendly litter. I can't wait to see what they grow up into and who inherits the mermaid traits to swim in the waters or not. All right. And then, oh, yes. Hmm. I don't think I have any choice. I'm going to have to name her Azur. There's just no other choice about it. Everything about her speaks of the ocean, the water, and the waves to me. And it will be very interesting to see if she does end up being a mer kitten. And if we did add mer cats and mer kittens into our stories with our Sims, it would be very, very interesting to see if when we do that, we decide that the mer cats um, are like very special companions of mermaids, or if they perhaps could help a mermaid with certain traits or even gathering certain collectibles. I really love adding those kinds of elements into my gameplay. So it's gonna be really fun to see what the lore of the mercats should be, how different the various subspecies of mercat will be. And if you guys have some ideas for how to make our mercats and mer kittens even more special to our mermaids, I am all ears. 
So let's go ahead and give Azura her personality. <gasps> she is indeed spoiled and mischievous as a result of it. No doubt being such a beautiful blue kitten gets her so much attention and she is a bit of a prowler. Wow, these are a lot of prowling kittens. They're not gonna just sit by the side of the sea and sing like their dad. Well, try saying that five times fast. They actually want to be out and about. Uh, so which ones are gonna be out and about in the water and which ones won't? We'll have to see. And then finally, we're going to have little uh, Janny. There we go. I don't know why that just was the name that popped out to me for her. She is so beautiful, just like her mother. Will she end up being a mer kitten or not? Hmm, let's see what her personality. Spoiled and skittish, and she's a glutton. <laughs> she definitely is quite different from most of the family tree. But all right, guys, now that we have a beautiful litter between Pearl and her sinking mate, Teppy, let's go ahead and see what happens when you combine the gorgeous and very ancient species of the Balinese with this brand new discovered species of the Pearl variety of Murkat. Like I said, keep your eyes out. There's going to be several more varieties coming up in the future for sure. But all right, Rain, let's see what you're going to look like, young boy. Oh, <gasps> just like his daddy. And he, oh, is he going to inherit any of his mom's traits? The dice are rolling. <gasps> and he didn't. So he has not inherited any of his mother's tail. Uh, he didn't inherit her fins on the ears. He did not inherit her tail, but he has this really cute little kinky tail instead, which is just adorable. And he's beautiful. So I wonder what he's going to spend his days doing since he can't swim. And let's go ahead and see what Kepi. Oh, he looks very much like his mom. But did he inherit all of her traits? <gasps> he actually got the tail. He does not have the ears, but he did inherit her tail. So Kepi is actually the one who can go swimming. <laughs> Look at his cool mermaid tail. That is so interesting. Sansel, what about you, my friend? All right, I've rolled the dice, but I'm not looking down until you've grown up. <gasps> and here we go. Oh, and he got both of them, you guys. Okay, so Sansel is actually going to trade this big old lemur tail for a mer tail. So ironically, both of the ones who are colored just like Kepi are the ones who actually can go swimming. And he did inherit his mother's ears, but they don't show at all. Like they're there, they're on for sure, right? No, there they go. Oh, that's so pretty. So he actually can go into the waters and swim, just like his mother. That's gonna be really cool to see like how different the mercats will look over the generations. Now for Cyancy, one of our very first females, let's go ahead, I'm gonna roll and not look until she grows up. And oh, wow, look at her eyes. They are so beautiful. And she actually did inherit her mother's ears, but not the tail. And in fact, she has no tail. She has the mistake of a tail. So we're gonna have to make her a little no-tail cat. <laughs> I do not think Cyancy can actually swim, unfortunately. That does happen when you crossbreed the animals from time to time. Oh, but she's very pretty with those little thin ears, isn't she? Now for spoiled mischievous Azure. Will she inherit her mother's ability to swim in the waters? Or will her lovely blue coloring be kept? Oh my gosh, her face. <laughs> Sir, you look like a spoiled princess. What the heck? Oh my gosh. And actually, you guys, she can't swim. She did not inherit the mermaid tail. I can't believe that. But she did inherit the ears. So she is actually just going to be a super spoiled, uh, mischievous cat with thin ears who hangs out oh my gosh she actually looks really kind of amazingly cool i never have seen that kind of a mix of a head shape before on these cats wow and she got her dad's big fluffy tail at least and she definitely looks like a spoiled princess doesn't she <laughs> all right so azure unfortunately is not going to be swimming with her brothers but with little Janny, let's go ahead and see rolling the dice now not gonna look down until she's grown and the answer is yes! So Janny is actually going to be able to follow her mother and look like her mother and carry on the legacy of being a beautiful mercat. All right, let's see. Where are those ears for you, Jancy? Jancy, where'd your ears go? And there they are. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> All right, guys, there we go. That was actually really fun. I was kind of expecting things to be a little bit more dramatic when it comes to the way that the mercats would look. Uh, but I really love how some of them turned out, like Sciency with her no tail and inability to swim, but the little bobbing ears, like that's just adorable. And Azura, she looks like a spoiled princess. This is amazing. But that was really fun, and I really hope you guys will help me in coming up with some fun lore about the Murkats and how we can add them to the new Sims 4 Island Living Pack that will be coming out. And I do hope you're looking forward to seeing more of our Mur kittens arrive on our shores as we prepare for the new expansion pack and I get increasingly excited. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like to toss a delightful fish treat to our wonderful Mur kittens. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye!